Naam, tarehe 13 mwezi Februari kila mwaka ni siku iliyofunguliwa na UNESCO ili kuadhimisha siku ya redio duniani. Hata hivyo watangazaji wa Hub Media kitengo cha Hub FM hawajawacha nyuma kwa kuadhimisha siku hii muhimu baada ya wao kujiunga na ulimwengu kuadhimisha siku ya redio hii leo na jinsi redio imekuwa chombo muhimu katika sekta ya mawasiliano. Ili kuadhimisha siku hii watangazaji wa Hub Media kitengo cha Hub FM wameonekana kutambua siku hii na kushirikia redio kama chombo cha kufikisha ujumbe haraka kwa sikilizaji kauli mbiu ya mwaka huu ikiwa ni kukumbatia jana leo na kesha redio watangazaji hawa wameongeza kuwa redio itasalia ka na hamna chombo kingine cha mawasiliano kitazidi redio Mila Sindiru na taarifa hiyo a very good morning. I should trust you're having a wonderful time. My name is Shiko and of course this is Praise Junction. Uh, happy World Radio Day. Radio imeonekana kuwa chombo muhimu na chombo kinachotawala katika kueneza habari barani Afrika na kote ulimwenguni. Ili kusherehekea umuhimu wa radio tarehe 13 mwezi Februari ni siku iliyotengwa na UNESCO ili kutambua umuhimu wa radio katika mawasiliano. Yo, it's your guy in the building, God's boy, David King. We are taking you through Praise Junction all the way to 1 in the PM with Shiko Mbogo, like she said, and happy World Radio Day. Kulingana na umoja wa mataifa UN lengo la siku hii ya redio ni kuinua umaarufu wa redio kwa umma na pia kuarifu umma umuhimu wake. Siku hii pia inalenga kuhimiza vituo vya redio na watangazaji kwa ujumla kufanya kazi kwa pamoja kimataifa. Vile vile redio ni chombo ambacho hutumika kusherehekea utu kwa wote bila kubagua. Wow, what does radio mean to me? Radio means family, it means friendship, it means connection, it means a lot i mean there are so many experiences and encounters i could share about a radio but let me just say radio should live forever because i have seen great impact it has brought in my life and in the lives of many people hata kama radio imesifiwa kuwa chombo kinachoongoza katika kutoa mawasiliano kwa haraka bado inakumbwa na changamoto chungu nzima kama vile kuwepo kwa mitandao ya kijamii lakini watangazaji wamesema wamejihami vya kutosha ili kuhakikisha upekee wao ungalipo being in this space i've seen the growth of radio i've been part of radio and even with the emergence of social media or what you call digital media it's worth noting that Traditional media one of them being radio still has its own niche this is because of proxy this is because of its cost effectiveness and its proxy to every other places that it's able to reach out to Kaulimbio mwaka huu ikiwa kukumbatia jana leo na kesho ya radio maarufu embracing past present and future of radio watangazaji wao wameongoza kuwa miaka ijayo bado radio itatamba bila kizuizi chochote kile For me radio is such an amazing tool such a dynamic tool for actually shaping the mindsets and perspectives of people right so anytime we sit down here we are actually thinking about our generation and the generations to come what are what information are they getting about life about god about business about money and uh, i think for me that is the greatest thing about radio Redio imesalia kuwa chombo kinachoongoza katika sekta ya mawasiliano kwa zaidi ya stesheni 200 za redio zikitangaza katika lugha mbalimbali home nchini. Na mtazamaji imekuwa ni siku ya kusherekea redio kote duniani na sisi hapa kutoka Hope FM pia na Hope TV tunazidi kuwatakia watangazaji wa habari wote ambao wanafanya kazi katika redio siku njema na wazidi kutupasha kudokeza na pia kutuajiri yote yanayozidi kujiri katika taifa yetu la Kenya na kote ulimwenguni. Nikiripotia dira ya Hope TV langu jina ni Nelias Wanjiru.